showcase. A stage to display one's talents from the unforgettable moments. Mankind has achieved his dream! This is home. On the biggest stage. The boyhood dream! What did we just see? Daniel Bryan did it! The Miracle Kid! To the greatest conflicts. From the biggest names. But this showcase <laughs> is about a man. <laughs> a man who became a legend. A man named Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> After learning his craft from gentleman Chris Adams, Austin would begin his career in 1989. I've been very impressed by Steve Austin's ability. He's showing that he has a potential to go a long, long way. In 1991, the nation got their first glimpse of the future. From Hollywood, California, 253 pounds, stunning Steve Austin. Dominating, overpowering, arrogant. When you bring two world-class athletes together and they mesh as one, you create an unbeatable machine. And we will be unstoppable as a team. Count on it. But despite his success, no one saw a superstar. And when injuries sidelined Steve, the future looked bleak. Next day, I got a FedEx email that I was fired. I was like, I kind of sucked. Frustration took over. There's nothing going my way because the politics kept the biggest potential superstar in wrestling on the ground. Frustration turned to anger. We're gonna put the US title on you, and then we're gonna take you here, and then you're the number one contender, so then you got this world title shot. Well, all that never happened. And anger created opportunity. The ringmaster seems to really have it all. The size, the strength, the agility, the wrestling acumen. Austin would enter WWE as the ringmaster, but wasted no time turning himself into a more ruthless character. His peers dubbed him the ringmaster. I would suggest to you from the look on his face and his attitude, he's a stone cold, if anything. His moment was finally here. It's on the bigger and better things after King of the Ring, after I win it all. And nothing would be the same again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final match to determine the King of the Ring. It is scheduled for one fall with a one hour time limit. Approaching the ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Steve Austin, ladies and gentlemen, went to the emergency room after his first matchup with Wildman Mark Marrow and had, I think, 16 stitches in his mouth and his tongue. And he has returned here, King, in the King of the Ring. Well, you know, I got to wonder if on his way to the emergency room, if he saw Jake the Snake Roberts being whisked away in an ambulance. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin awaits that man. And King, that man, Jake the Snake Roberts, earlier tonight took on Vader. Oh, man. It was not a good outing for the Snake. He got squashed in more ways than one. Watch this big Vader bomb. It's lucky there wasn't just a great spot left in the ring. 450 pounds doing internal damage. To what degree, we don't know, but Jake Roberts struggling, oh. struggling to even get his, his reptile. His reptile bag up on the apron of the ring, and Jake is gingerly walking into the ring. This is a one ball match in the King of oh, the competition, and the rattlesnake showing uh, that he is wanting to end this quickly and convincingly. Oh, look at this, JR. What's he doing to him? He's uh, stopping a mud hole, yes. and Jake the Snake 
and now he is walking it dry. Nothing but high impact intensity from a relentless, unforgiving Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's pounding poor Jake the Snake like a tent stake. No stopping the rattlesnake here. Austin is not going to give any opportunity for Jake Roberts to fight his way back into oh. this match. Nothing pretty about Austin's offense, but it's very effective. Oh man, here goes. Oh. Austin off that second turnbuckle, driving his elbows into the sternum, the ribs of Jake the Snake Roberts. Oh man, I don't know if poor Jake the Snake is gonna be able to get back to his feet. And he unloads with everything he's got. Bam! He's showing everyone what he's got. Steve Austin's been dropped. The camel clutch being applied. There's no escaping this. Jake the Snake Roberts, victorious. And Stone Cold Steve Austin wasting no time going for the ribs of Jake the Snake Roberts. This is the final, ladies and gentlemen. The winner of this match will be the 1996 King of the Ring. And Austin fighting with 16 stitches in his mouth, JR. And Jake the Snake has got to have busted or broke. And ribs, both these men are battered and bruised but Jake Roberts is obviously in tremendous pain. The Snake's in a severe disadvantage, and Austin's doing what he should do, go right after those injured ribs of Jake Roberts. Austin's in a fighting mood. And he brings the action back inside the ring. And the head can't take many more shots like that one. Not the most effective striking here. Well, it could be a changing of the guard here tonight. The old man and the rattlesnake, huh, partner? Jake the Snake Roberts showing some adversity right now. Wow, he didn't expect that to happen. Easily avoided. Man, that one rocked him. Feeling it out, perhaps, here. Oh, ho, ho. And he turns the tie. Oh, look at this. He's got him. Folks, Jake the Snake Roberts being controlled now. Oh, you can imagine every one of those blows, JR. It's like thunder and... Lightning right into his belly every time he moves. Well, Jake Roberts had a choice. He didn't have to come out here. Yeah, but this is king of the ring. And you know, you'll do whatever it takes to win. Steve Austin doing a great job of turning that around. When his strike lands, you can darn sure feed it in the first few rows. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. And there's another big 
right hand. And what a reversal from Jake the Snake Roberts. Uh-oh, what are we gonna see here? Oh, out of nowhere! He's still not through! That was a heavy shot. This might be it. He has absolutely no idea what just hit him. The King of the Ring Finals continues here. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Ah, stunner! Stunner! With a stunner on Jake the Snake Roberts. And the referee counts as three. And Austin has beaten Jake the Snake Roberts. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout, and now reigning King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And there you see Stone Cold Steve Austin, the new King of the Ring for 1996. Man, this was some battle, JR. Austin went through some tough guys to uh, finally get to the top of the mountain. There you see him. What is next for Stone Cold Steve Austin? Is I'm this? I'm just wondering how the rattlesnake's gonna look with a crown on his head. Yeah, I feel even wear it. I wonder if this is the beginning of bigger things for Stone Cold Steve Austin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the fourth prestigious King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin, an incredible victory. The first thing I want to be done is to get that piece of crap out of my ring. Don't just get him out of the ring, get him out of the WWE. Because I've proved, son, without a shadow of a doubt, you ain't got what it takes anymore. You sit there and you thump your Bible and you say your prayers and it didn't get you anywhere. Talk about your Psalms, talk about John 316. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. Come on, that's not necessary. All he's gotta do is go buy him a cheap bottle of and try to dig back some of that courage he had in his prime. As the king of the ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the WWE superstars. I don't give a damn what they are. They're all on the list, and that's Stone Cold's list, and I'm fixing to start running through all of them. It's as far as this championship match is considered, son, I don't give a damn if it's Davey Boy Smith or Shawn Michaels. Steve Austin's time has come. And when I get the shot, you're looking at the next WWE champion. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Obviously anything but humble, the fourth prestigious king of the ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. As the king of the ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the superstars. They're all on the list, and I'm fixing to start running through all of them. Steve Austin's time has come, and that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, cheap shot. Oh, no. Stone Cold Stunner. Oh, come there on. you go. Come on. Stone Cold is the best there is. As Stone Cold continued to scratch names off his superstar hit list, there was one name that had eluded Austin's sights. I'd like to use this chance to issue a challenge against one Bret the Hitman Hart. Bret Hart had been absent for the dawn of 316 and the man who had been raising hell all over WWE. If you put the letter S in front of Hitman, you've had my exact opinion of Bret Hart. I'm the best there is. I don't pay attention to a lot of talk. I'm the best there was. Especially when it comes from you. And I'm the best there ever will be. The
Native man found himself in unfamiliar territory, the crosshairs of the Texas rattlesnake. The one thing that's been missing has been me. But the excellence of execution has never been one to back down from a challenge. In the Survivor Series, I will face Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're never going to get through with Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're going to have to kill me first, son. And that's the bottom line, and it's the truth. And if I can beat Stone Cold, then I will beat Stone Cold. The rest is easy pickings for the hitman. Son, if you think Stone Cold Steve Austin is a stepping stone, well, watch the first step, because it's a doozy. Will Bret Hart be able to prove once and for all that he is the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be? We'll see who kicks whose ass. Or will Austin 316 stomp the hitman into exile? You ain't got what it takes anymore. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Coming down the aisle from Victoria, Texas, weighing 250 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And ladies and gentlemen, here it comes. The man who could unquestionably spoil the comeback attempt of Bret the Hitman Hart. You talk about qualifications, King. This man, Stone Cold Steve Austin, could ruin Bret the Hitman Hart's career. You know, JR, I saw Steve Austin a few years ago in the Sportatorium down in Dallas, Texas. And you could see the greatness, the potential greatness. It's all about attitude, then and now. An attitude, I might add, that is somewhat appreciated by this capacity crowd. And his opponent, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing 234 pounds, Brett. The hitman, Bret Hart, looking to electrify this capacity crowd. And everyone, and I mean everyone, are on their feet. Well, he's back. He ain't no clown. He ain't no trash man. He's a fierce competitor. And so is Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's what it's all about, JR. Wrestling, competition, intensity, athleticism, and drama. And we're going to experience it all in this one match here tonight. Well, this should be quite the contest, Jerry. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Bret the Hitman Hart, finally going to meet one-on-one. -on -one. This is a rivalry that has been brewing for several weeks now. Well, you're right about that, JR. A long time coming, and it's finally here. Stone Cold Steve Austin, the rattlesnake, going against the best there is, the best there was, best there ever will be. This should be great. Bret the Hitman Hart, the consummate wrestler, scientific, fundamentally sound, Austin, Likes to brawl. Oh, likes to, yeah. Likes to fight. Oh, look at this. Look at this stare down. Are either one of these guys going to be intimidated, JR? I don't think so. Austin trying to get into Hart's head. I don't think that's going to happen. From the, oh, the look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. You're number one in the heart of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Here they go. The black heart of the Texan. Modern elbow tie up. And it's Brett the Hitman Hart. Well, had the advantage momentarily. Austin now reverses it. Referee asked for a clean break. Whoa. Uh-oh. I wouldn't want to be the referee in this match, would you, JR? Absolutely not. Uh oh I think Timbers are going to flare really quick. Well, the, the tension. You could feel the tension when these men came to the ring. You knew this was going to be special. What if Stone Cold Steve Austin used the sharpshooter to make Bret Hart...
Submit. Look out what's going on here. Putting careers on the line with moves like that. Steve Austin can feel the momentum swinging his way. His strike hits nothing but air. Ooh, that'll knock the wind out of you. Go well, out here, you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Inside the ring to be on the floor for long. Six. Back in the ring now. Man, they're going at it here. Look at this. Yeah, Bret Hart, he won't quit. He doesn't know how to quit. He just reversed that with ease. Austin's in trouble. Steve Austin being pressed hard. And now Bret Hart pushing forward. Yep, that's the reversal by Bret Hart. Look out, look out, right on the kidneys. Look at this performance by the hitman. He's in total control. Steve Austin being pressed hard. Oh, that'll send shooting pain right up your spine. Both men are fatigued, JR. Both men are hurt. This is a war. Well, they say the fatigue makes count. Words of us all. Hey, the shoulders are down. One, two, three. Unbelievable. Yeah. You know, I think this could, well, it could very well be a submission match, JR. These two men trying to manipulate the holds to make one or the other submit. We know Brett's got the sharpshooter, and I think Austin might have a trick or two up his sleeve. Well, we'll have to see about that, King, because as you can see, Austin's sleeveless tonight. like he's pinpointing the back. Calgary's own Bret Hart looks to be in great shape. He had a personal trainer to help himself get ready. Yeah, you're right. All of his old nagging injuries should be fully healed at this point. Just making his presence felt there. Oh, there's no wiggle room here for Steve Austin. Oh, the carnage. The impact. Just debilitating. And there's the reversal from Bret Hart. And sometimes that neck pain can be felt all the way down the spine. And his attack misses. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. Both men are fatigued, JR. Both men are hurt. This is a war. Well, they say the fatigue makes cowards of us all, but neither one of these men are cowards. How do you like the athleticism, folks? This is what it's all about. Steve Austin can feel the momentum swinging his way. Steve Austin being pressed hard. And there's the reversal from Bret Hart. Hey, what a 
move. Man, they're going at it here. Look at this. Yeah, Bret Hart, he won't quit. He doesn't know how to quit. Look at this. The Hitman's rolling here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at looking to steal one there, perhaps. Austin doesn't get tired. He gets mad. And he turns the tie. Attacking from the top. This guy can go toe to toe with anybody. Stopped and dead in his tracks. Here we go again. Somehow he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. The Hitman sees his opportunity, and Bret Hart makes him pay for all that. Bret Hart looking to end this. No, he kicks out. Nicely done. And this is where Austin is the most dangerous when his back is up against the wall. And he turns the tide. Steve Austin being pressed hard. Steve Austin being pressed hard. This is a painful submission hold and used to great effect here. This is not the position you want to be in. Well, no one ever said that Stone Cold has class and he will do any, can he do it here? Yeah. You know, I think this could, well, it could very well be a submission match, JR. These two men trying to manipulate the holds to make one or the other submit. We know Brett's got the sharpshooter, and I think Austin might have a trick or two up his sleeve. Well, we'll have to see about that, King, because as you can see, Austin's sleeveless tonight. The two tie up, testing their strength. And it appears to be a test of strength here. They are locked up. This is intense right here. You know, doing some checking, neither of these two men have ever submitted in a match in their entire career, JR. Both men with strong wills, King. Proud hearts, neither willing to give an inch. Well, I believe it's gonna come down to a submission in this matchup, which would obviously be a first. And how humiliating it would be for one of these guys to give up right here in New York City. How ironic would it be if Stone Cold Steve Austin placed the sharpshooter on Bret Hart and won by submission. Bret Hart being over whelmed here. I don't know what's going to happen here. Slammed down hard. He hasn't even given his opponent a chance to breathe. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Calgary's own Bret Hart looks to be in great shape. He had a personal trainer to help himself get ready. Yeah, you're right. All of his old nagging injuries should be fully healed at this point. Wow, he didn't expect that to happen. Bret Hart reversing it. Incredible. Hey, now. His strike hits nothing but air. Oh, the velocity. 
velocity. The impact. You could hear it. Both men are fatigued, JR. Both men are hurt. This is a war. Well, they say the fatigue makes cowards. Look at this. Stone Cold Steve Austin thinks he's in charge here, JR. Yeah, but I think that Bret Hart's got other ideas. Hart trying to get control of the match now. Oh, Bret Hart going for another bulldog. But Austin also counters. Oh. Bret Hart sterling first into the turnbuckle. Oh, man. Look at this, JR. Bookman down. He misjudged the range on that one. Oh, what a shot. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. He's in full-on attack mode now. Oh, out of nowhere. A well-placed strike. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Bret Hart, you got to know, his body is ravaged with pain right now. Could you imagine what it could mean or what it would mean for Steve Austin's career if he could say, I mean, make Bret Hart quit in New York's most historic arena, Madison Square Garden. And that's what he's trying to do right now. He's taking his opponent to school here. Whoa. The repetition on that move is becoming deliberate at this point. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. He clearly has confidence in that move. Well, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Oh, Steve Austin's not even close to being done here. Bam! I'm not sure I can watch this. Inside the ring now. Now back to the ring. Here comes Steve Austin. I'd say that's more embarrassing than anything else. Well, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Inside the ring again. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. A counter. 
Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Gets out of the way of that attack. The human body can only absorb so much of that. Stopped him dead in his tracks. And now the figure four leg lock's being applied. Unbelievable. Yeah, 